Over recent years, there's been increased interest in farmers in anaerobic digestion as it represents a potential new income stream for the farm and can also help reduce greenhouse gas emissions from agriculture. Anaerobic digestion is the breakdown of organic matter by bacteria to produce a biogas and a liquid anaerobic digestate. On-farm digesters that process just livestock manures produce a digestate that is not a waste and can be applied to the land in the same way as you would livestock slurries. If the digester processes additional feedstock such as food waste, as long as the digestate is PAS 110 compliant, it's classed as a product, not a waste, and can again be applied to land in the same way as you would livestock slurries. The digestion of livestock slurry will reduce the slurry dry matter content and increase the proportion of readily available ammonium nitrogen. However, the digestion process will not change the amount of total nitrogen, phosphate or potash in the slurry. Anaerobic digestate needs to be applied carefully to land to minimise the risk of pollution to the environment and to maximise crop available nitrogen, phosphate and potash from the digestate. Digestate is a highly readily available nitrogen manure and as such um, cannot be applied to land used during the NVZ close spreading period. In order to make best use of the crop available nitrogen from the digestate, it should be applied in, when the crop is actively growing, so in the spring to summer period, and application to using a trailing shoe or shallow and depth projector applicator will reduce emissions of ammonia and also reduce odour. The new Manor MPK software is a simple tool to give farmers a quick estimate of the crop available nitrogen, phosphate and potash supply from applications of organic manures. The new version of MANA now also includes three new digestate categories. Whole food based digestate, whole pig slurry based digestate and whole cattle slurry based digestate. So farmers can now use MANA to estimate the crop available nitrogen, phosphate and potash supply from applications of digestate. In this example here, we've entered details of an application of cattle slurry based digestate to grassland in the spring. The digestate has been applied at a rate of 40 cubic metres per hectare, or around 3,500 gallons per acre, using a shallow injector. MANA estimates that this application of digestate will supply 47 kilograms per hectare of available nitrogen to the current grass crop and has a nitrogen use efficiency of 48%. So that means that just under half of the total nitrogen in the digestate is available for the grass crop. The digestate also supplies 48 kilograms per hectare of total phosphate and 108 kilograms per hectare of total potash. Based on current fertiliser prices, MANA estimates that this application could be worth up to £160 per hectare in saved fertiliser costs. 